Now, let's take John, or St. Luke 17, 30, and watch what Jesus prophesied there, saying that as it was in the days of Sodom, it will be the same. Now, remember, notice, this is at the time that the Son of Man would be revealed. The revealing of the Son of Man. Now, the Son of Man was actually revealed potentially just for a few moments there, just before uh, Sodom was burned. Now, that man was Elohim. That was God. And Jesus is God. And God was revealed potentially right there for a few moments to talk to Abraham in the investigation judgment just for a little bit. The Son of Man was revealed. The Son of Man, Elohim... Do you see it, church? Amen. The Son of Man, Elohim, was revealed just for a few minutes. Amen. For the very next morning, she was burned. When? Before the sun could come up again. So there can't be no organization left. Neither can there be any further advancement in what's going right now. For she'll burn before the day breaks. Again, the revival's over across the nation. There ain't going to be no more revivals. Big sweeping revivals. This nation never receive it. They might have an intellectual gathering, but I mean a spiritual revival. We've seen all of it. I hope you're catching it. I'm saying it in such a way that I hope you get it. See? It's over. A fine minister said a while ago, said, Brother Bram, if I could just have the joy of the Lord in my heart, I said, Son, the revival's over. See? Now, the stabilizers have been put on the ship. Great, fearful waves are out here before us. But we know just beyond that wave, Gunner, we're nearing the shore. See? We're nearing the shore. Just stay stable. Just stay in the Word. Stay with God. No matter how you feel, what anything else, stay right with the Word. Let, let, let it stay stable. We see all these great big old clouds around us and storms are coming and atomic bombs and everything else they're talking about, but our stabilizer is right straight in the Word. God said it would be here. We'll crest every one of them. Yeah, we go right over the top of them. Yes, indeed. We, they can't sink us. They can't drown us. You put us in the grave. We'll come out again. That's just all there is to it. There ain't no way in the world to keep it down there. We'll caress every one of them because our great chief captain is calling at the other side. We're anchored in Jesus. The storms of life I'll brave. I've anchored in Jesus. I fear no wind or wave. Whatever it might be, let it come. What may, what will. Doesn't make any difference. We're anchored right there in Jesus. If I live, I'll live to the glory of God. If I die, I can die to the glory of God. I, I, I just want to, it's, it's to the glory of God's what I want to do. And when that's all over, I don't want to stay any longer. I want to go to where, uh, to my reward that he bought for me. Not what I earned, but what he bought for me. What he gave to me by his grace. So, we see the evening lights here. And what does it do to have light if you don't have any eyes to see how to get around in it? What is the evening light? The light comes on to reveal something. Is that right? If there's something here you're feeling, you can't understand what it is in the darkness, then turn the light on. It's to reveal. What's Malachi 4 to do? See? Do the same thing. What was opening of the seven seals to do? Where all these denominations staggered around in this test is to reveal. Bring out. If you haven't got any eyes, then what's used to reveal? There has to be eyes first to see. Amen. Is that right? To reveal. Malachi 4. Reveal St. Luke 17.30. St. John 14.12. Also John 15.24.16.13. And to also reveal Revelations 10, 1 to 7. The opening of the seven seals. And the seventh angel's message. To open up, to reveal. When the evening lights come. Now, if a man in the Lady of Sin age, the people were what? Naked? Are they? Blind. What good does light do to a blind man? If the blind leads the blind, don't they all fall in the ditch? Naked, blind, and don't know it. Even their mental faculties are gone. Their spiritual faculties of mental, uh, spiritual understanding. See? Heady, high-minded, 
lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, and despisers of those that are good, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, the power of revelation, they don't even believe in it. See? They don't believe in such things as prophets and so They don't believe in it. They believe that the Malachi force to be a certain church or certain organization. When he come the first time, he was a man. When he come the second time with a double portion, he was a man. When he come in the form of John the Baptist, he was a man. In the last days, when the evening lights begin to shine, eyes will become open, and you'll see where you're going. Then the body is already formed, standing up on its feet, Amen. taking motion, moving. Amen. By the Holy Spirit, what? The same one that moved up on the prophets that wrote the Bible, the same Holy Ghost moving in a body. Filled with the Holy Ghost, moved in the Holy Ghost out of every organization, every kindred tongue and people. 